Well, tonight the Lorena ISD school board is meeting for its first time since the new school year started. It comes as the lawsuit the district faces is held up in an appeals court and a principal who's also a defendant still remains in the role despite community criticism. Tonight, some state leaders are anticipated to actually be at the meeting and so is six news anchor Bailey Bates. She joins us now with more from Lorena. I am back in Lorena for another school board meeting where the district is set to have a special guest tonight. State Board of Education member Evelyn Brooks, who represents Lorena ISD at the state level. Monday's meeting will be the first time that Brooks is attending a school board meeting in person since she started looking into parents' concerns and the allegations that Lorena ISD and one of its principals face. It alleges wrongdoing of a sexual abuse case. I've talked to Brooks a couple of times over the last couple of months. She tells me she is trusting that the investigation will run its course and it will be telling, but she also wants to ensure there is transparency and accountability. We're here to ensure that this does not happen again. We're here to ensure that citizens' voices are heard. We're here to ensure um, that the ISD is just working cooperatively with the, com the community uh, until 2025 comes around when the um, results of this investigation come out. And there still has to be a level of healing, right, and still transparency moving forward. The lawsuit isn't directly listed on today's agenda, but advocates in support of the family who filed the lawsuit want their concerns heard. The school board meeting starts at 630 here at Lorena Middle School. I'll have more details on what happens in it coming your way on 6 News at 10. For now, reporting in Lorena, I'm Bailey Bates for 6 News. Bailey